Hello, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that uh, halftime show on the student spotlight. And uh, Coop, we're uh, we're down 16. What have you seen, and what are you looking to see? So, so far, Once again, uh, first off, thank you to Nelson Castillo on Twitter. He follows the NEC, and he provides a ton of great information. And he pointed out that Air Force has 14 assists on 15 of their makes. And they're just passing the ball incredible, finding the extra guy. Uh, and on top of that, they're shooting 58% from the field with seven three-pointers. And they're just looking good. They got really hot towards the end of the quarter, or towards the end of the half. And they're moving the ball better. They just look more gelled right now than LIU is. They started LIU started really good, moving the ball, finding the extra guy. But towards the end, the last eight minutes or so, they kind of fell apart. And it was kind of one-on-one, uh, wasn't moving the ball as much. When they were, it was bad passes, just sloppy basketball on both ends of the court. So, yeah. Yeah, I agree with everything you said, Coop. And uh, checking in on our Dan Bauer shark lines of the night, the Sharks have knocked down four threes already, two each for Terrell Strickland and Tana Copa. So only two more to hammer the over. As for 64.5 points for the Sharks, we're at 27 at half. It has slowed down like I predicted. Predicted. So it'll be interesting to see if they could top that line. Now, I don't believe we've seen a C.J. Delancey dunk, uh, as we haven't seen a C.J. Delancey shot attempt yet. The night is still young, Joe. It is. And I do believe that we've seen two dunks in this game, though, courtesy one courtesy of Corbin Green, and then uh, there was another one in the alley-oop that I can't quite remember who converted on as we were having technical difficulties as our power went out. It was someone dope. It was dope indeed. So, yeah, we have an exciting second half up ahead. Hopefully no more technical issues. I do believe we've solved everything, unless our power goes out again, uh, which we hope does not happen. But it is military appreciation game, so just want to shout out some veterans. <clears throat> uh, my late grandfather, Gerard, my late grandmother, Eileen, and uh, my paternal grandfather, Robert. Thank you for your service, and thank you for your service for all the veterans out there. Uh, and for all those who have served our country. We got about two minutes before we return to half, so I think we will cut it to uh, one more ad, and then we will get going here, unless you have anything else to add, Coop. Go Sharks. Yes, and thank you to our wonderful crew, Michael Thompson, Jameson Dowdy, Chase Goodman, and Zachary Isaiah Jones. Uh, thank you guys for all your help, and thank you for all your support, for all you watching at home, and... Uh, yeah, as Coop said, go Sharks. Fins up. And we also have yet to see Finley hit the gritty. He hit one pregame at my request, but we have not seen him hit one mid-game. We know no one's going to believe us if we didn't get it on camera. So we're going to hope. We're going to try for you guys. Yeah. We'll do our best. Be on the lookout for Finley gritty watch for those of you at home. Whopper, Whopper, Junior, double, triple, Whopper. Flame grill taste with perfect toppers. I for this day. Lettuce, mayo, pickle, ketchup. It's okay if I don't want that impossible. Or bacon, Whopper, any Whopper my way. You season the day. Happy day. Have it your way. All right, so we got 30 more seconds before play resumes. And, Coop, we have had an exciting matchup. Although the Sharks did let the lead slip a little bit to end that first half, it's still anybody's game. Yeah, definitely. There's still plenty of game left, and the Sharks show glimpses of very good basketball early on. I think if they can return to that, move the ball a little bit better, search for three-pointers, while also pounding the ball inside, it's going to open up a lot of the floor for open shots all around.
So far, LIU's leading scorer is uh, Terrell Strickland, who's got nine points. And like Joe said, a pair of three-pointers. Uh, also with a rebound and a couple assists. Chase. And so far, Tana Copa has played the entire game with 20 minutes. Yeah, that's what I was just looking at, Coop. Tana Copa playing the entire game. We've seen Coach Strickland do that a couple times last season, uh, namely with R.J. Green. Uh, he played a couple games the entire game, uh, as well as some of the other guards. So it's interesting to see, especially since the Sharks really don't have a whole lot of wings. They have a lot of guards and a few bigs, but really in terms of wings, it's really just Tonicopa and Greg Kenny. Now, we've seen uh, Coach Strickland scale up a little bit as uh, we've seen R.J. Green and Andre Washington both play some time at the forward thus far. But uh, we are back in action now. Down to Ethan Taylor. When that is blocked. Ethan Taylor taking it in again and oh. gets that one to go off the glass. Way to stick with it there from Ethan Taylor. Give him 16 points on the night. Quick one over to RJ Green. He drives right. <clears throat> oh, a lot of loses. contact there. He'll be going to the line. Loses the ball there, but gets bailed out with the foul. Air Force foul shows the 13. Chase Beasley. It's second first team foul. RJ Green, one of one from the free throw line so far tonight. He's got five points on two of two field goal. Uh, he subbed out earlier in the game because quick foul trouble, which was probably one of the main reasons that the Shark offense and defense kind of halted. So nice to have him back in the game. Yeah, and while we have some time, let's talk about Air Force's coach, Joe Scott. It is his second stint with Air Force. He originally coached them from 2001-2004, in which he took them to their only NCAA tournament bid in 2004. And then he ended up leaving, going to his alma mater, Princeton. Uh, and then a, a long stint at Denver and is now back at Air Force. But speaking of coaches, do you know who is an alum of Air Force, Cooper? That would be one Greg Popovich. That was... is correct. He was the team captain and leading scorer in his senior season in 1970. Impressive. You just don't see that anymore. And, oh, lucky bounce there from, I believe that was Bo Becker. Bo Becker has eight points now on the night. Got Eric Acker up top. Back to R.J. Green. Now, Coop, I've, this may be a little anecdotally, but it seems as though R.J. Green has put on a lot of muscle this offseason. He definitely looks a lot bigger. And, oh, Jazz gets his defender on the floor and gets an easy layup. That's a big man right there. Great finish inside. Helen Boylan bringing the ball up now. Yeah, but going back to what you were saying, R.J. Green has definitely put on some mass. Much bigger man. Bo this Becker year. misses the hook, gets his own rebound, and puts it back in. Gaz unable to get back out there to contest the shot. Sharks pushing. Eric Acker pull up mid-range. Can't get that one to go off the back of the rim. Rebound Boylan. He'll look to push. Chase Beasley has it now. Hits it out to Bo <clears throat> Beasley once again has it. Now Becker. And Jeffrey Mills can't get that one to go. Rebound Falcons. Nice little hook shot there from Becker. He'll convert on that one. Oh, Becker's got back-to-back -back buckets here for Air Force. And that's going to be a timeout for LIU. It is 51-30 to with 18 minutes left to play. Whopper, 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 Junior Double, Triple Whopper, Flame Grill taste with perfect toppers, I rule this day. Lettuce, mayo, pickle, ketchup, it's okay if I don't want that impossible bowl or bacon, Whopper, any Whopper my way. Season the day, happy day, have it your way. The LIU Spirit team putting on a show now on the court, doing some little theatrics, throwing a girl up in the air. There's two girls up in the air. Now make it one. Scanning the area for Finley. 
There's some very tempting music playing, prompting a gritty by some... He is nowhere in sight. Very grittyable music, and the entire Air Force team is on the court right now, interestingly enough, with some chairs brought out. They're now dispersing. That is a large team there, 20 players 20 on the players roster. 20 players on the roster. We got Bo Becker, Kellen Boylan, Ethan Taylor, Chase Beasley, and Jeffrey Mills on the court for the Air Force. And we're now getting the first look at Nikola Zappa out of Serbia on the court for the Sharks. Love to see Nikola Zappa playing. He actually plays for the Serbian national team, and he won the Adidas Next Generation Tournament. Yeah, he, he is a man with a lot of basketball experience. And Terrell Strickland in the game now with Andre Washington, RJ Green, and Eric Acker. A very small lineup for the Sharks. I believe... Other than the seven-foot Nikola Zappa, R.J. Green is the next tallest player as Acker airballs that one. Falcons looking to push now. Oh, nice steal there by Andre Washington. Gets it into Nico. Back to Washington. Up to Acker. A lot of contact, and he'll be blocked there by Kellen Boylan. They pushed it well, just overpowered by the size from Boylan there. And as we've alluded to, Air Force has a very large team, not just in terms of how many players they have, but also the players themselves. They have a lot of players in the 6'6 six, six to 6'9 six, range. Most of their roster is in that height range. Yeah, especially when LIU has a few players injured tonight, uh, and namely Ty Strickland and Jason Steele, and they're playing with an active roster of 10 tonight, and that's... It's hard when they're playing against 20 guys, so they're being outrun right now. Yeah, especially a program like Air Force where their their whole program is so physically fit, uh, just given all the training they have to do, uh, and a team that likes to run and gun. A little three ball there, unable to go for Taylor. Fight for the rebound. Falcons have it. Back out to Taylor one more time. He'll knock that one down. Shooters never miss two in a row. Ethan Taylor said, give me that right back. He's got 19 points and five three-pointers. 54-30 to 30 Air Force now. Sharks struggling to get some offense going here in the second half. Air Force's defense has just been too much for these Sharks. Andre Washington has it now. Trying to get something going. A little elbow pull-up. Gets the bounce to go. Nice shot there from Washington. That was his patented move last season was the mid-range jump shot. Yeah, that's right. He got a lot of buckets uh, with that shot. He was the leading scorer for the Sharks last year. And uh, he had a 37-point game against St. Francis last season. Three ball there. Good for Bo Becker. Air Force is just annihilating LIU from deep right now. That's 15 points for Bo Becker. Three threes. And so far they have hit nine three-pointers. Just raining from downtown. Yeah. Terrell Strickland can take it inside, taking a few courtesy steps, but there will be a foul on the floor. That'll go against Chase Beasley. That's going to be another timeout, and it's going to be 57-32 Air Force with 16 minutes to go. And we will be back after another short intermission. This break in the action is brought to you by the LIU Marketing Society. For individuals looking for experience in digital marketing, creative advertisements, and graphic design, this is the club for you. It looks great in your resume. Meetings are at 5 p.m. on Wednesdays. For more information, DM at LIU Marketing Society. That's at LIU Marketing Society on Instagram. Or join the e-club in presence. Thank you to LIU Marketing Society. The Sharks finished with a record of 19 and 11 in just their second season of existence, and they swept the one seed St. Francis University of Pennsylvania. We are now honoring the LIU men's volleyball team who won the NEC championship last season under the youngest head coach in NCAA volleyball, Coach Kai. We love Coach Kai over here at the Base Network. He is a friend of the network. He is a very fun guy. And congratulations to the Sharks who won the championship last season. Ben's up. Congratulations to friend of the broadcast, Hayden Satterfield. 
as well for winning that. You know, Joe, when the Sharks come back out here, I want to see them space the floor, get some three-pointers. Five minutes to, five minutes have gone by in this half, and they have yet to even attempt a three-pointer. Just not finding shots from outside. Yeah, uh, we have a lot of interior players on the floor right now with Andre Washington, who loves to get it in the mid-range. Uh, Eric Acker, Nikola Joppa down low, gets that one to go. That, there are his first collegiate points. Congratulations to Nikola. Nicola Joppa actually played at Christopher Columbus High School with son of Carlos Boozer, Cameron. He played with, played with both of the Boozer twins there for a short period of time and then went to the Boozer School in Huzak, New York. But love to see some pick and pop actions with Nikos. We know he could stroke that thing. Ethan Taylor gets that one to go and you just have to wonder what's going on in these timeouts to where we're just leaving them open off the flare screens. Ethan Taylor might be a good shooter. I don't know. I, it, we might want to get a hand up. Yeah, you know, I think that it might be time to start doing something. Yeah, that's six three-pointers for him and 22 points. And RJ Green loses that one. That'll go out of bounds. Just sloppy offense from the Sharks. They were really rallying early on, but it seems they've kind of lost their way and just not looking great on either end of the floor right now. Ethan Taylor over to Chase Beasley. Up top to Jeffrey Mills, over to the left, and that is to Kellen Boylan. Bo Becker's got the ball. Drives Good step top. back. Gets it to Taylor. Moving it around, and oh, oh! Bo Becker! My goodness! Incredible play and better finish. Bo Becker with a posterizing dunk. Oh, Ooh. Andre Washington gets the ankle breaker. Can't get that one to go, but... I was not expecting Bo Becker to get up like that in that moment. My goodness. Talk about a momentum shifter. I don't know if it shifted the momentum. Yeah, I might have just put a nail in the coffin here for the Sharks, although <laughs> R.J. Green getting the nice block there. Good to help defense. Andre Washington bringing it up now. He'll get it to Terrell Strickland. He'll receive the screen from Joppa. Good defense there by the Falcons, but nice pass by Strickland, finding Eric Acker on the back door for the bucket. Well, Strickland finding luck there with those back door passes. Really good pocket passes down there. 13 and a half minutes to go. What you waiting for? What you waiting for? The crowd has largely been taken out of this game with how well Air Force is playing, and Bo Becker. Oh. And that'll be a blocking foul. <laughs> Blocking foul on Terrell Strickland. Almost got the charge. Yeah, confusing call there. He appeared to be set, but I guess not I quite. think Bo Becker wanted to get another murder, but was unsuccessful. Tonicopa checking in the game now as Andre Washington will sit down. The Sharks are looking to find some bit of momentum to start a rally. Yeah, and hopefully with Tana back in the game is Bo Becker one more! He found Over it. Over the top of Nicola Joppa, Bo Becker. My goodness. That'll be an and one. He'll go to the free throw line for one more. CJ Delancey getting ready to check in now to hopefully stop some of these Bo Becker posters. That was disgusting from Bo Becker. He My is pairing up goodness. the Sharks defense right now with 17 points. Make that 19 points. Just incredible offensive display from Bo Becker. Bo Becker was the 2023 Cliff Parsons Award winner for member of the team that gives his best every day in every way. And we are seeing that. He's a big Star Wars and Cage the Elephant fan, and he one day wants to own a jet ski. Don't we all, Joe? And, I mean, when you can fly like that, I mean, I can see why he wouldn't want to own a plane. Tana Copa misses the step back. Rebound Falcons. They'll look to push. Ethan Taylor bringing it up now. You have to imagine they're going to look for Bo Becker here. Feed the hot hand. Get it to him up top. Swinging Pass around, over. and another Falcon is wide open. He'll miss that one. Rebound Acker looking to push. Gets it out to Copa. RJ Green going to take a baseline. Can't convert, but he will be fouled. Yeah, that's that big body of R.J. Green now able to slice down low. The there. ref from half court just ran in to make that call. 
despite the two closer refs not seeing it, he might have the money line. He was very, very passionate about that call there. He saw it with his own two eyes. He felt it. RJ Green has the first free throw. We see Dan Bauer has uh, joined us watching the stream. Hello, Dan. Hope you're enjoying Washington, D.C. He wants to see a C.J. Delancey dunk. I think we all do, especially to make up for the uh, the Bo Becker dunks. R.J. Green misses that second free throw. And, you know, it appears the Sharks may be running out of time if they can't find something quick. The lead keeps on growing. Good defense there by Strickland. He'll take it in transition. A lot of contact. Can't get it to go, but there will be a foul. But shot clock came off on the basket during that play. I don't know if you caught that at home. That was something, though. But nice play there by Terrell Strickland. He'll go to the line for two. Terrell Strickland still our leading scorer with nine points. Going to the line to hit double digits. Make that ten for Terrell Strickland. Attack, attack. Strickland hits him both. That is 65-39 with 12 and a half to go. The Sharks are putting the half-court pressure up. Down to Bo Becker. Ethan Taylor. Up to Jeffrey Mills. Over to Brown. Bo Becker, 4-3. Can't get can't. that one to go. Rebound Strickland. He'll look to push. Strickland gets a burst of speed right in the lane. Throws it up to Delancey. And what? C.J. Delancey goes sky high and converts the alley-oop. Incredible stretch there from Delancey. It didn't even look like that was a pass. No, it looks like an errant shot, but C.J. Delancey, I think, hit his head on the ceiling, came down, laid it in. And now he's at the line for one more after converting that one, and he'll get that one to go. C.J. Delancey, what a play. Incredible display of athleticism there from C.J. Delancey. Unfortunately, it did not hit our line of a dunk as, oh, oh, CJ says, heck no, get that out of here. And they'll give him a foul for that. That is a disgrace to the game. CJ Delancey bringing a much needed spark to the Sharks right now on both ends. Foul or not, that was an incredible defensive display. I think that was a questionable call. Very. That looked like all ball from where I'm sitting, Coop. What a play by C.J. Delancey out of Jonesboro, Arkansas. As we know, Delancey's a great shot blocker. He recorded four blocks in a game twice in his freshman season and averaged over one a game. And as we previously said, you know, we personally were we personally were expecting C.J. to start. Uh, it was a bit of a surprise to us that Bajrami got the start. Bajrami's played well, but C.J. has been bringing the energy in the second half. Love to see it. And happy birthday to our friend and roommate, Ryan Adams, who is watching at home. Ryan was unable to make it out today on account of it being his, I believe, 47th birthday? <laughs> or 23rd? Some some number. It's a large number. It is. Very large. But we love you, Ryan. Yeah, happy birthday, Ryan. Not to be confused with Brian Adams, the singer. Very true. And I have just been made aware that Ethan Taylor has broken his career high, which was previously 15 points. Uh, he now has 22. And also, Bo Becker is nearing breaking his career high of 23. He's got 20 points right now. So let's be on some career high watch. Did you pull that from Nelson or did you pull that from a website? The one Wade Albers. Oh, shout out Wade. Formerly a sports journalist himself. And currently a uh, highly renowned boxer. Perhaps that the best is. boxer to ever make it out of Colorado State. Absolutely. I Yeah, I don't even know if there's competition there. But the Air Force Academy, based in Colorado, <laughs> pretty and close a, to home for Wade. And a dedicated viewer of the base network. Absolutely. Really One of the biggest you. fans, along with Danny and Eileen Simile and Brad Bauer, <laughs> our biggest fans. 
66-42 here for Air Force with 12 minutes to go. Acker has it now. Pulls up for three. Can't get that one to go. Delancey trying to get the tip as well as Green. Can't get it to go. Pushing it in transition is the Falcons. Jeffrey Mills has it. Pulls it back. Gets it to Taylor, who does have his career high, as we previously said. Byron Brown has it now. Gets it to Kellen Boylan. Over to Taylor. Back down low to Brown. Strickland pokes it loose, and he's saying that should be Sharks ball, and the refs disagree. Going to be Jeffrey Mills to inbound. Then you get it to Becker. Up top to Brown. Oh, Taylor from deep. Air balls. That was a heat check. That is what we industry folk call a heat check. You know, if you have a hand as hot as his, I would be shooting from the shark logo. Yeah. Cannot blame the man. Cannot blame the man. Three for Copa gets blocked by Byron Brown. Nice show of athleticism there. As the Falcons working in transition. Mills misses that one. And that'll be Sharks ball, although looked like Tana might have tipped that, but... Refs didn't see it that way. We do see Finley on the court now. We're coming against 13 Chase Beasley. You know, we've seen a great defensive display here from Byron Brown, able to tip that pass, or able to tip that shot. He's got 11 points here tonight, just playing incredible. Yeah, he's been everywhere on the court. He really hasn't touched the ball that much, but he's been making plays all over. And I'm sure, okay, that would be a foul call there. You know, bonus points to Byron Brown for the alliterative name. It's just, it rolls off the tongue. We appreciate you. It really does. And bonus points to him for somehow fitting two ones in that part of his jersey. Because <laughs> they are so close. Eric Acker with the ball now. Now, Eric Acker, uh, as we previously mentioned, his high school teammate, Trayshawn Shepard, is also on the Sharks. As RJ Green gets the tip, can't get it to go, but there will be a foul on the floor. But... Eric Acker and Trayshawn Shepard play together at Eagle Academy. Uh, both of them are from Brooklyn. Now, Trayshawn Shepard was two-time All-State and averaged 19.7 points per game and 20 rebounds per game as a senior. We have yet to see him make an appearance tonight, although they did have him participate in the three-point contest during Midnight Madness, and I could have done without seeing that. <laughs> Finley is now sitting in the crowd behind us. He's one of us. He is. We can't get that angle, but he's sitting beside uh, some children getting a photo taken. Local celebrity. Yep. RJ Green unable to get that one to go. Fight for the rebound. That'll be Beckers. Helen Boylan with the ball now. Copa picking him up pretty tight. Puts it over to Ethan Taylor. Ethan Taylor wants some more points. He wants that 50 piece. Bo Becker from the mid-range. Can't get that one to go. Rebound Copa. <clears throat> Sharks moving it up. Acker now. Back out to Strickland. He'll fake the three. Pulls up. Can't get that one to go. Rebound Falcons. That was Boylan. He'll get it to Taylor. Back to Brown the, with the litter of names. Taylor has it now. He'll get the screen. Bringing it inside. Fakes it. Out to the corner. Fumbles it. Byron Brown from downtown can't get that one to go. C.J. Delancey with the board. Strickland up to Acker. Acker stops, pops. Can't get the lucky bounce. Tip in, though, by R.J. Green. Also stopping the shot clock again. I don't know what that issue is, but. I was trying to distract us, Joe. 66-44 Air Force. A little under 10 minutes left. There's still a chance for the Sharks, but we need some more momentum going. Ethan Taylor going to fake that one. The Sharks been playing some good defense the last couple possessions. Bo Becker gets open. He'll drive right past Delancey down to Taylor, and he'll get the easy lay. Ethan Taylor now with 24 points. And the Sharks now pushing. R.J. Green under the basket. Can't get it to go, but does draw the foul. Follow-up dunk by C.J. Delancey, but that will not count. Does not hit the Dan Bauer Shark line of the night. Unfortunately. Knight is still young, however. And shout out to all of our viewers. This has been uh, an incredible experience. Thank you all for coming out and watching, especially with all the technical difficulties in the first half. Uh, it has been incredibly fun. Uh, thank you all to the friends, family that are watching, as well as my 
out of the park league members that are rolling deep. RJ Green hits the free throw. That's 10 points for him. Finley has joined the cheerleaders and is holding up a Finns Up sign. Green can't get that one to go. Delancey with the rebound. Out to Strickland for three. Can't get it to go. Fight for the rebound. Taylor comes up with it. Ethan Taylor now with 24 points, 11 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals, and a block. Bo Becker in the post kicks it out. Becker has it now. Gets it down to Taylor, being guarded by Copa. Copa with some good defense. Goes up with it and draws a foul somehow, some way. Ethan Taylor heads to the line. He's going to be his first free throws of the night. He's going to see if he can score from every area of the floor. So why not, why not get some free throws up? Right. Yeah. Andre Washington and Ahmed Asahadi check in now with Terrell Strickland and Eric Acker going to the bench. Delancey, Copa, and Green will stay on the floor. And Air Force has eclipsed 70 points after that one. Ethan Taylor checks out with 26 points. And Colby Giles out of Chicago checking in now. He's six foot five and 240 pounds as a freshman. Andre Washington with it drives right, and he gets it to go. Great layup there from Andre Washington, and great control up in the air. Now, Colby Giles uh, played football and basketball growing up, but a few hard hits gave him the decision to push to play basketball. And uh, you can definitely see the football influence. He is a big dude. And, oh, C.J. Delancey says not today, not in my house. But there will be a foul. It's about three sharks latched on there to Kellen Boylan on the drive. C.J. Delancey's highlight reel for this game on dead balls is one of the greatest highlight tapes I've ever seen in my life. He he might lead the NCAA in blocks after the whistle. Two blocks and a dunk. It's incredible. Number 23, Kellen Borland is at the line. He's got four points so far in the game with five forwards. Gets the free throw to go. Eight minutes left. We got 72 to 47 Air Force. Three pointer for Andre Washington gets to go. Nice shot there by Dre. With 22, down 22 points, the Sharks are going to have to get some stops here and get on a run if they want to make something work. Yeah, a little under eight minutes left, and. Uh... They're going to have to make some magic happen down 24. Copa with it. Over to our... Ooh, denies Copa the pass takes to it Green. himself. Little floater gets fouled. Tricked me out there. with Denied that pass. Yeah, but he will go to the line after a quick timeout, and we will be back after a short break. This break in the action is brought to you by the LIU Marketing Society. For individuals looking for experience in digital marketing, creative advertisements, and graphic design, this is the club for you. It looks great in your resume. Meetings are at 5 p.m. on Wednesdays. For more information, DM at LIU Marketing Society. That's at LIU Marketing Society on Instagram. Or join the e-club in presence. Thank you to LIU Marketing Society. Whopper, Junior, double, triple, Whopper, flame grill, taste with perfect toppers, I for this day. Lettuce, mayo, pickle, ketchup, it's okay if I don't want that impossible, or bacon, Whopper, any Whopper my way. Season the day at BK, have it your way. Get a brown
And we are back. Tana Copa at the line for two. LIU down 74 to 50. Seven and a half minutes left to go in this one. For me, Joe, it's been a story of rebounds and assists. Uh, right now, Air Force is out rebounding LIU 32 to 23, with uh, and that has allowed them to uh, accumulate 12 second chance points as opposed to LIU's two. They are also passing the ball incredibly well with 21 assists. I personally really want to see Wesley Chelichowski come in for Air Force. He is their seven footer, number 51 out of Georgetown, Indiana, and I just have to wonder, what does a seven-footer do in the Air Force? He is the plane. He must be. He must just lay down and they take him for a ride because I don't think Pause. he's fitting inside of it. Pause. A lot of contact there by Delancey, and that will send Chase Beasley to the lawn. I like your shorts. Chase Beasley heads to the line for the first time. He's got two points here with three boards, two assists, and a steal. He's been in foul trouble all night long, but luckily it hasn't hurt him too bad. He's been sitting with four fouls for quite a while now. Gets the lucky bounce on that one. Back on uh, Shark Line of the Night Watch, uh, the line was set at 64.5 points for LIU as that free throw is missed, rebounded by Becker. LIU at 52 points with seven minutes left. There is a chance that the over hits. I like it. Taylor has it now. Boylan gets the pass from Becker, and that'll be a foul on Copa. You know, I just want to talk about the efficiency from Air Force, predominantly in their two leading scorers, uh, Bo Becker and Ethan Taylor. Bo Becker is 20 points on 8 of 12 from shooting. Ethan Taylor is 26 on 9 of 15. They've been incredibly efficient. The team as a whole is shooting 55% from the field and 48% from three-pointers with 10 of 21. Just incredible shooting display here tonight. R.J. Green's going to take that inside. He tried to lift off, got poked at the ball loose, and uh, he'll get fouled on that one. I think R.J. Green was trying to get a highlight there, but the ball got poked a little bit loose. So he'll go to the line for two. Pharrell Strickland getting ready to check in. And Corbin Green also getting ready to check in for the Falcons with Chase Beasley heading to the bench. Green misses that one. Esahadi checks out for the Sharks. Green's continuing his struggles from the free throw line from last season. Right now, he's shooting four of ten from the line on the night. And Beasley actually ends up staying on the floor as it's Bo Becker that comes off for the Falcons. On for your Sharks, R.J. Green, Tonicopa, C.J. Delancey, Andre Washington, and Terrell Strickland. Green misses that one, and he gets his own board, takes it inside, a lot of contact, out to Copa, fakes it, one dribble pull up, can't get that one to go. And Andre Washington tips it down to Green. He goes up with four people on top of him and draws the foul. Great job there from R.J. Green, staying down low, staying physical, and being able to go back up with it. It appears the Air Force is ready to start taking some of their starters out. We got Bo Becker, Jeffrey Mills, and Ethan Taylor on the bench. So unless anything changes, don't expect them to come back on tonight. Yeah, R.J. Green, 4 of 11 from the line tonight. That has been one of his biggest weaknesses as a Shark is free throw shooting. And makes that one to make it 5 of 12 on the night. Now he's going to get hot. Yeah, um, I might have jinxed it. Let's see, can he make it two in a row? Yes, he oh, can. Oh, yeah. R.J. Green is heating up from the free throw line. got to keep going. R.J. Green shot 58.6% from the line last season. Corbin Green down low on Delancey. Little hook shot, can't get it to go. Delancey with the rebound. Strickland moving it up the floor. Corbin Blue with the Copa's wide open. He hits him. Green picks him up. Andre Washington getting something to work down low. Can't get it to go. Delancey with a big rebound. A lot of contact. No call. Green has it. Back down to Delancey in the post. Swings it out to Copa. He'll drive in. 
Down to Delancey, a little jumper, gets that one to go. Nice pass there from Tana Kofa to find an open Delancey down low. The LIU section now getting active as it's now a 19-point game. And, oh, blocked by R.J. Green, but they call a foul. C.J. Delancey can't believe it. LIU has gotten a ton of blocks that have been turned to fouls, unfortunately. Borland misses the first free throw. The stands are being shaken so hard it is shaking our camera. Oh, yeah. That's... That can only mean one thing, Joe. A comeback. I wouldn't call it that. Keep attacking. But let's see if the Sharks got some fight into it. Keep attacking and clash the board. Gotta clash the board, RJ. Knocks that one down. That'll make it a 20-point game with five and a half minutes left. Game's not over yet. Let's see what the Sharks come up with. Copa fakes the three, takes it inside. A lot of contact. Tries to dish down to Delancey, keeps it in somehow, and that'll be stolen by Kellen Boylan. Ethan Taylor checks back into the game. I was mistaken. No foul, no foul. Going to halt the run from the Sharks here. Going to attempt to. Copa playing some tough defense there on Brown. Falcon swinging it around. Boylan down low, and that'll be out of bounds on Brown. Out of bounds, Brown. I'm smelling something, Joe. <laughs> what is the rock cooking? A comeback. Keep Strickland bringing it up now. The Sharks are trying to get Tana open every possession. And, oh, Terrell Strickland throws it off the bottom of the rim. Fight for the ball, and R.J. Green gets tackled. Air Force has switched their defense to a 2-3 zone, and the Sharks are going to have to swing the ball around to get open three-pointers, especially when you have Copa in the game. Yeah, and, oh, big screen there by Corbin Green. We see R.J. Green and Terrell Strickland seem to be pretty exhausted having played so many minutes in the second half. Eric Acker getting ready to check in for one of them. And Air Force is trying to take some time off the clock. Chase Beasley takes it inside, misses that floater. Rebound Copa gets knocked loose. Strickland looking to push. Kicks it out to Washington, takes it in. Copa for three. Thanks, Copa for three. Great shot there from Copa. That's his first three of the half. 59-76, 59-76, Air Force, four minutes to go. Brown has it now. Swinging it around. Chance of defense coming from the crowd. And big three there. Dreams out. Ethan Taylor misses that one. A rare miss there from Taylor. Sharks got to move quick. Time is not on their side. R.J. Green, a whole lot of contact. That's not a foul. Acker's going to check in for Strickland, and they're going to call a timeout. It's 76-59 with three and a half to go. Given the way this game has been officiated, I am shocked that that was not called a foul. It was peculiar, Joe. I'll give you that. A whole lot of contact on that one, but... We got three and a half minutes left. Sharks are down by 17. They still have a chance. They have a chance, but they need three pointers. And they need to start forcing some pressure on the Falcons defensively. The Falcons just moving the ball around, letting the shot clock expire. And time is the one thing LIU does not have. They need to pick up their urgency on both ends of the court. They need to get quick stops and quick buckets. Yeah, try and force some turnovers, try and get funky. Let's see what Coach Strickland draws up out of this timeout. Hopefully to get a quick bucket. As we've noted, they've been trying to get Tana Copa open almost every possession, but Air Force knows that he is their best shooter, and they are not trying to let him get that. They're jumping at him on the perimeter and sending extra help. Hopefully Air Force stays in that 2-3 zone and the Sharks can make him pay. Got to swing it quick. Reverse. Hit Tana Copa for the three all day long. So 
So it'll be Green inbounding. Delancey, Acker, and Washington all stacked up. Copa at the top of the key. So looks like they're picking up in man now. Yep, they'll get it out to Acker. They'll get the screen from Delancey. <clears throat> Tries to get it into Delancey. Delancey takes a dribble, hook shot, gets the lucky roll. Good finish there from the big man, Delancey. Got a 15-point game, three minutes to go. Sharks got to apply some pressure now. Looks like they're going to be switching a whole lot now. The crowd is reignited as the Sharks are starting to narrow this lead. Yep, Sharks trying to switch everything. Playing some good defense thus far. Falcons trying to work it around. Falcons not looking to shoot early either, though. And Taylor takes it inside. Delancey, good D. And oh. Corbin Green over top. Ball might have been over the cylinder. Might have been a little over the cylinder. Refs didn't see it that way, though. Great follow regardless. Yeah, good play by Green. Washington can take it inside. A little mid-range pull-up. That's no good. Rebound, Green. You know, those aren't... I know that I said that they want to push the pace on offense, but those aren't the shots that you want. You want to get good. You want layups or three-pointers, honestly. Yeah. And now the Falcons are just going to try and run the clock out a little bit more. Taylor has the top of the key. Fakes the handoff. Mills Six seconds top. left on the shot clock. Oh, that's going to be a steal by Copa as Green can't hold on to it. Copa's going to stop. Not going to pop. Gets it to Acker. He'll pull up. Watch, and he'll get that one to go. 15-point game now. Acker pressing full court. Jeffrey Mills has it now. Mills dribbling the clock out a little bit. Wondering if the Sharks are going to start throwing some doubles somewhere. Green, uh, excuse me, Washington trying to play aggressive in the passing lanes. Backdoor cut there, and that'll be Byron Brown converting on that one. Great cut there from Byron Brown. It will take advantage of this and a sleep defense. Calls for the screen from Delancey. 90 seconds left. Popa for three. Can't get that one to go, and that'll be rebound Falcons. Have to wonder if that was the nail in the coffin for the Sharks now. Hey! Dan's betting odds watch. We are sitting at 63 points. Over and under is 64. Great line by Dan, honestly. Corbin Green, nice pass back door, unable to hold on to it. Oh, and R.J. Green. What a block. R.J. Green's going to take it in transition. Can't get that one to go over Corbin Green. No relation as far as I'm aware. <laughs> that was a good one. Whistle's blown. Some kind of timeout. Not an official timeout. Just stopping the clock for fun, I guess. Just to let subs happen. Number three, Luke Kearney is checking in for Air Force. Out of Bella Vista Prep. Favorite basketball player is Luka Doncic. Luke Kearney had a 3.8 GPA in high school, and his father played at Arizona State, and his mother played at Cal Lutheran. Impressive. Athletic family. Very cool. And he's heading directly to the line. And his hobby is volleyball. I wonder if we'll see him set one into the basket. Gets the first one to go. Also, for the first time for Air Force, number 33, Brady Ruffles. Air Force is officially checking out their starters. Two free throws. Brady Ruggles checking in now who set his high school record for points in a season. And I I think that's an early admission to the base network all-name team, Brady Ruggles. It's pretty good. Washington at the line. Knocks down the first. Brady Ruggles actually had heart surgery as a freshman in high school. So oh, pretty, cool, him, pretty cool to see him back on the floor playing in college, so good for him.
Okay. Okay. Trying to make something happen. Gets it out to Green. Over to Giles. Oh, Giles falls down. Byron Brown working it around. Corbin Green wide open. Doesn't take it. And took one earlier in the game. A little surprising there. Byron Brown has it now. Down to Giles. That'll be out of bounds. Air Force ball. Four seconds left on the shot clock. LIU did hit the Dan Bauer over. They are now sitting at 65 points. Congrats, Dan. Congrats to Dan's over. Oh, Corbin Green. Oh, poked loose by Delancey. Green for three. No good. Air ball. Sharks have seven seconds to get one more bucket. Andre Washington takes it inside. Down low to Delancey. I don't know if we can call that a dunk, Coop. I'm counting it. I, that counts. I don't think he hit the rim. That counts. And that will conclude this one. LIU defeats Air Force 82 to 67. And that was an entertaining game, Coop. Yeah, it was entertaining. It was nice to see Air Force come in here. It's nice to have a crowd as big as we did. So we appreciate everybody coming out. Um, LIU, I think, gave Air Force a little bit of a scare early on in the first quarter or so of the game. They looked fantastic. Great chemistry, rebounding, switching the pace. But about eight minutes left in the half, they kind of just fizzled. They kind of lost all their momentum. The game became a little bit more sloppy. Air Force is finding open shots way easier, and Air Force kind of never let up. Um, Ethan Taylor with 26 points, Bo Becker with 20. Just incredible performances from them to help their team just dismantle LIU later in the game. Yeah, and you know, as we said, this is the first ever team from a multi-bid conference to come play in the rack. So this is a team that's much better than most of LIU's schedule. And, you know, they gave them a run for their money. They held it close for most of the first half, and they had a nice comeback in the second half, only to lose by 15, I think is a good sign for the Sharks team. We got to see a lot of the new players play. Tonicopa, team leading 36 minutes and recorded 10 rebounds in his Division One debut, along with three assists and a steal uh, and 11 points. So, you know, congrats to Ton on the double-double. He played very well. Uh, we saw a lot of Eric Acker in the freshman and a lot of Andre Washington, a lot of Charles Strickland, a whole lot of guards. Um, and, you know, we we saw more, we ended up seeing more CJ than Gez. CJ played 20 minutes after Gez got the nod to start. And we only saw four minutes of Nikola Joppa. Uh, hopefully we see some more coming up, but overall, I think it was a good sign for the Sharks. Uh, you know, we got to witness some fun basketball as well. We had a lot of technical difficulties in the first half, but second half, I think, went pretty smoothly on our end. Uh, we got to watch Ethan Taylor's career high, which was pretty fun, and we got to see Bo Becker uh, commit some crimes, frankly. But yeah. overall, it was a very fun time. Uh, I'm Joe Simile, joined by Cooper the Dragon All Cooper the Dragon Albers. Uh, thank you all for coming out and watching our first broadcast of the season. Hopefully next time we'll have our issues figured out. But a huge thank you to Michael Thompson, Jamison Dowdy, Chase Goodman, and Zachary Isaiah Jones for all their help in today's broadcast. This couldn't have been possible without them. And thank you all for watching at home. Uh, it was military appreciation game, so thank you to all those who have served our country. And go Sharks. Fins up.